We need a rev another revolution. Meet the world's oldest head of state. 91-year-old Robert Mugabe has governed Zimbabwe since the end of white rule. And during his 35 years in power, his security forces have often ruthlessly suppressed dissent. Mugabe has always tried to control the media. Done through celebrating the life of President Comrade Robert R. G. Mugabe. But that's getting more difficult. When he recently fell over in public, his security tried to confiscate the footage. But it seems the Mugabe regime can't control the internet. These photoshopped images went viral in the West. But even before that, a new generation of comedians was bravely satirizing Mugabe's government from within Zimbabwe itself. To ensure and encourage accountability, the billion dollars shall be deposited into my personal account. This is Tongai Makawa, better known as Outspoken. Bilateral, bilingual, bilocal, by decree. He's part of a small group of Zimbabwean comedians using satire to attack the corruption and hypocrisy of the country's ruling elite. It's still a very cancerous state. There is enough for all, but it's just that it's in the hands of the few that aren't willing to actually share. He writes and performs in a popular web show called Zambezi News, which is widely shared on Facebook and Twitter. This mine is called Mine Mine, because the mine is mine. <laughs> Outspoken and his colleagues are testing how far they can go without being arrested. Are you a high-powered ruler? Do you often get stains from pesky journalists? Do you get marks from dirty opposition parties? Some of their sketches poke fun at the ruling party, widely accused of vote rigging. Ballots in the box, ballots in the box, ballots in the ballots in the ballots in the box. And they mock the dreadful technical skills of state television. Temperature is going to be changing, changing, hot sometimes, cold sometimes. So if you're wearing hot things, sorry. There's a battle in Zimbabwe's courts over free speech at the moment. In recent years, 80 people have been charged with insulting the president. But the Supreme Court now ruled that law's unconstitutional. The situation's encouraged Outspoken and his colleagues to get bolder. I'm always gauging how much you can get away with. Like the those lines I'm just like man what, what's the audience reaction gonna be for this one Outspoken is helping Zimbabweans see the funny side of Mugabe's regime and for a government without a sense of humour that's a serious threat think about that hmm? 